What's up guys, it's time to start the Sunday off with some morning arena domination as the kids say and let me just double check or this is not even double check, this is like penta check my gear because um, Curse City is too hard and I swapped all of my main sets like 200 trillion times to do it so there's a high chance that somebody... Okay, Inidwe doesn't matter. <laughs> Not gonna use him. There's a high chance that somebody is naked. That's happened way too many times. Okay, that... Why, why am I even looking at Cupidos? Um, I think we are good. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. Nice. Anyway. Oh, I... Almost thought it was gonna be some free shards. Damn, dude. I'm so tempted to buy Primals. I'm not gonna lie. But the thing is that if I buy Primal shards, I mean, as you can see, they're pretty expensive. If I, pri if I buy Primal shards and then the first uh, Mythic champion that I pull is like a Sak Saki champion, I'm gonna be so depressed. I just, I can't do it. I can't bear the consequences of the guilt after. <laughs> Buying these packs and getting something trash, but I really wish we would have gotten the primal this time. We're definitely past the hundred pulls for sure. Not, not that I get track of it, but we're definitely well above hundred uh, hundred shards at this point. Anyway, even without primals, been doing pretty well in live arena lately. So. Maybe we can go for 15-0 today instead of 10-0. Let's see. Wait, isn't that the clan, mate? Okay. We're starting off with some, like, um... What's the word word for that? Some, um... Prohibited combat between clan mates. What? He even... He's... He's even giving me the armaments. <laughs> this is not scripted, guys. I don't know why he's going easy on me, or... Does he really not have armaments? Ah, oh, I need to open Discord. I'm kind of afraid Discord is gonna open in the middle of screen. I'm sure he just sent me a Discord message now. Uh, okay, I have to probably cut the part out. Okay, never mind. That went well. Okay. Yeah, I get the phone message that there's some, something pinged me, and I'm sure it was a Discord message from him. Uh, wait. Taras and Grixia. Yes, Grixia, but not Armons. Interesting. I guess we're we're gonna go with uh, wait, should I go with Judges too? Mm. Let's go with Judges and Mika get both. Maybe I'll do that. No, yeah, I I, I want to do that because Grixia, Grixia is so annoying. I kind of prefer Ankara over Judges, like I said, but I do have the polymorph and dots, so let's do that. Now, if he's smart, he's just gonna pick UDK. Since I, he knows what I, what I mostly pick. Okay, he didn't. Okay, well, Galatir is. <laughs> he's probably even worse. Um, I think we we have to go with Rodos here and not. Wait, what am I gonna ban? I could almost ban anything, but I have to go with. Actually, can I go with Wukong and I'm gonna regret this so much, but okay, let's go with Wukong and ban Taros. Let's see what happens, but surely I can't win when he has <laughs> when he has double lockout unless I get polymorphs. And I do have some polymorph in the team, so maybe, maybe. He, I mean not, it's not like Gizmark is not gonna do damage. I mean Gizmark does damage. I think Gizmark is super strong and a little bit underrated. Okay, let's see if he uh Oh, he, okay, he just said good luck. Okay. Let's see what we get. Often, I mean, this shouldn't really come... Ah, didn't get... I really wanted to get the... Okay, we got some polymorph on Gizmark, but I... Okay, I guess we'll take it. I wanted to get it on Krixia, but we'll take Gizmark. The thing is that I do play a good amount of live arena. Sometimes I'm... I'm not as active as some other times, but often people ask me that why didn't they appear on video? And I do fight people, you know, outside of videos too. 
But okay, this time we actually got the Grand Mate battle on video, so that seemed interesting. I think, I think this is pretty much going to be an RNG fight. I can't survive that long. He does have double reviver and double lockout. If I if I like get some turns, if I were able to do a skill on Narsus, I would be good. But this is kind of like a ticking time bomb. I think I'm still going to lose. Probably. I wanted to pick Duchess to get the Polymorph. I would have preferred Ankara, but since he banned the Duchess, I'm sure... He he would have banned the Angora anyway, so... Yeah, he has, he has too many immunity buffs. I think we're just gonna use the um, AoE anyway to reduce their turn meter. Or should I save it for Gizmark? I don't think so. He has so many... So many... Um, oh, the Krixer is very sweet. He has, he has so many... Why didn't he use it right now? Okay, we got the turn. I think if the Galatir doesn't resist, I think we are we are good. And now it's lucky. <laughs> oh, he read resist. Mm. Mm, yeah, not like I could lock him out without Ankara. If I get a turn now on Wukong, everybody else is gonna die except the Galatir. And if Kalatir uses revive now, then that would be even better. Oh, I got locked out. Okay, never mind. Fuck me. <laughs> Almost. Oh, damn. Wukong is doing damage 7 without the A1. Wukong has notoriously low damage multipliers, to be honest. Except the A2 is like ultra mega bonkers damage. But, uh, ah, uh, goddamn. But I do have pretty good gear, so I guess somehow I'm able to A1 down the pretty squeezy team. Okay, now we're looking good. I think we're gonna go for the Gizmark kill. Right? Yeah, let's kill the Gizmark. Might as well. We're farming some kill streak damage here. Okay, can, we, can I get the Polymorph? No, let's go for the A2. Oh. Resisted, but not just. Okay. I don't think he still has the passive, so he's not gonna die here, but uh, we can actually proc it, I guess. Maybe, okay, maybe I should have done the A2. I was kind of being a little bit greedy there, but um, let's switch the form on Mikage. Yeah, it, it was super crazy. <laughs> crazy battle. Okay. Oh, is it on the other form? I guess that was the wrong form. I should have just done the A2 then. <laughs> the primals have so much skills that you you get confused a little bit on which form and which passive they have up because they have like 200 million of them. But damn, that, that was a super scary team. I kind of did something that I wouldn't have done before. I didn't even try to ban one of the lockout champions. And it's the, it's the power of the Wukong Mikage that I've been using lately. The one that always destroys me, but I guess we were able to A1 him down and we did get the polymorph on the Gizmark at the start. I don't know how it, <laughs> it would have turned out if I didn't get the polymorph, but to be fair, I had both um, Mikage and Armands with polymorph and then Darches that he banned, so I did pick a lot of it just because he has so many... Um, so many debuffs on his team, annoying lockout champions and other stuff. And by the way, here's a good tip. I always complain about Polymorph, that it's basically unviable if you don't have 6 star. Of course, that's if you don't have any accuracy. And just not too many champions that you build with accuracy and would be good for PvP. And Armands and Mikage are pretty much it. I mean, both of them are good. You're gonna, you might not go for like 900 to 1000 accuracy with them, but even if you ha have like 400 accuracy, at that point, that is generally good enough for Polymorph. And if we double check, I think Mikage is maybe a little bit more than 400, and I need to still 
Chaos does her gear a lot, it's kind of uh, iffy. <laughs> and she has this clunky, clunky 5 piece stone skin, I need to get one more. But okay, she's 483 accuracy, which isn't that high, but it's not very like... Um, usually it's gonna be enough, though. The Galatir definitely, definitely might be able to resist, and some of the gear on her is... Uh, is not perfect, like we need to get the Ascension here, I do want her to be tanky. To be honest, I could almost 6-star this because even though it's a blue piece, it does have all of the good substat and double roll on defense, and it's gloves, so you need to have the main stat correctly as well. It's pretty hard to get a better piece than this. I do have, have those, of course, but ah, uh, on other sets, but... Okay, we're, we'll go with that for now. I will own glyphs, I don't want to lose all of them, but we'll keep that and uh, the other stuff is good. I just need to chaos dust it. The thing with Mikake is that uh, 480 is a little bit iffy for Polymorph, but it's not really for her, her other skills, because like many of the prior models, she does have the ignore resistance on some of the, her abilities, and ignoring 20% of enemy resistance is a massive amount of gear, so 500 accuracy is pretty much good enough on her. Could be a little bit more. I think if it, if she, if she was maybe like 650, then pretty much nobody would ever resist her. But I do want her to be tanky as well, since I'm not really using Mikake the conventional way that I go first and stun the enemy, and I'm kind of using her in my go second teams as somebody that can can use some abilities against Lockout. I'm always using her in Go second team, so... I do want, like, the 90k HP isn't optimal. It, it's gonna be higher, I guess, when I get the Gloves Chaos Dusted and the... Helmet, but I would still want her to be a little bit more tanky than this, but... Of course, I still prioritized speed, as you can see, so... The weapon doesn't have any HP. The shield, uh, the helmet doesn't have any HP and not even the shield, but they all have like high speed draw, so I had to go with those. And I think Armands is a little bit more accuracy. Yeah, Armands is like C 650. That, that that should be pretty much enough for everybody. And then him, I probably I want to Gaius does these to make him tankier. That's not... I'm, oh, we need to get accuracy here. I think I've failed on this quite many times. Okay, six attempts. Yeah, after so many months of farming, and trust me, I've been farming uh, Chaos Dust non-stop. I've missed a couple of fusions because I've been farming the dust and haven't had the gems to do them. But I still need, I still need a lot of Chaos Dust. We're pretty much done with the accessories, but now it's gonna be... a massive grind fest to get all of my artifacts finally um, finished. Okay, let's see if he said something in the Discord. By the way, <laughs> I'm chilling here, join my Discord. Um, can I show this? Okay, okay, I don't think I'm leaking anything secret here. I'll show it in a second. Um, see if you and lockout. Should I just go with Dutchess and Ankara or Nar Narsus or should I go with something else? He doesn't have any debuffers at all at this point. I think I'm still gonna go with the Mikake Narsus, yeah. Okay, this is what... Oh, how does it change for the screen? Okay, you can see it. Anyway. Good luck, and he said Gizmark is such a liability. Uh, I don't know what TPF means. To be fair, he has been pretty good when he's not in ship. Yeah. that That's the eternal debate with Gizmark, that he's super good, but he does do a lot of debuffs. So... Okay, Ronda. I think we're probably gonna end up banning Ronda in this battle. Maybe I'll go with Wugong, actually. But I don't... 
Do I want to go with Yudik? I think we're gonna go with Angkor and Wukong. He's probably gonna pick charge it. I might regret going Angkor and not Yudik. Eh? I hope he doesn't have charge it because I'm pretty much dead set already on banning the Ronda. If it's another Nuker, this okay Gizmak. Okay, that's that's fine. We don't have that much polymorph. We have two of it, and he's probably gonna ban the Armands. But let's see. I mean, as you can see, Gizmak is pretty popular. Two battles in row we got him and he's pretty much only champion in the game right now and i'm expecting that there will probably be other ones as well nice two out of two we got the gizmak polymorph he's using the blessing that gives you increased damage on burns and also reduces enemy turn meter when burn procs if you have it at six star i think that's insanely strong blessing. I would say it's on the same level as Polymorph. The issue is that there is really not any champions that can use it properly, <laughs> properly outside of Gizmark. So it's kind of going under the radar, but that's insanely strong one. Yeah, pa power of Mikake. There goes your boss. Bye bye. That's in. I feel like I'm kind of uh, being a little bit mean here that Gizmak got polymorphed and my Mikake didn't. The good thing about Mikake is that um, it's not that big deal even if she gets polymorphed. She's kind of, she's pretty fast and she does do a lot of things, but I don't, um, as long as I got some of the, uh, like, uh, some buff strips off there, that was good enough for me. If she got polymorphed, she would probably still get a turn later and it wouldn't be that big deal. But him having his nuker polymorphed, the only nuker, because I banned the Ronda for obvious reasons, since it would destroy Wukong passive and I would lose. Gizma getting polymorphed totally like ruined this battle for him. But there, there you go. I always, uh, I always whine about lockout, and here we are, easily stomping through lockout teams. And to be fair, it's been like that the entire week with my new, new strategies. I think yesterday, actually, okay, in that battle we're against Grixel, but usually I fight against at least one lockout, often two or more. Wasn't the other fight just now? The fight against the clanmate. I don't know how you say that. Eep, Y and W A. Um, Arena injures. He had double lockout. So sometimes I I often say W wrongly because we we don't have. We don't have that in fin Finland, and I'm just gonna say it like normal we or we, how we say it in Finnish. So sometimes I just omit that, and people are super confused. What did I say? I think it's super stupid that you like you like add a word to a letter that it's not like some kind of different differently pronounced we, but you say double we. That that sounds kind of dumb. I, I think it's dumb that in English language you um, you pronounce the same letters like differently. That they're not you don't pronounce a as a always. It depends on the word, and sometimes you omit it, and sometimes you pronounce it differently. I think I think that kind of stuff in English language is dumb. It doesn't make any sense. Finnish is way better that way. All of the words are pronounce the exact same way, no matter the, um, all the letters are pronounced the exact same way, no matter the word, and there isn't really confusion about it. Uh, do I want to go with the Duchess? Nah, let's open with the Mikage, actually. Let's see what we get. Mikage has been doing so well, Armands can totally polymorph her through the stone skin, but 
Let's do it. Okay, he took the anchor. He's not gonna have that much debuffs on him unless the new girls are very debuffy. Also, I don't necessarily need uh, UDK against him. He, he only can pick new girls at this time. Oh, also, also Heligat is gonna be nice. I think I'm gonna save Heligat as the last pick, but do I want to go with Rodos or Wugong? That's the question at this point. I think I'm gonna go with Rodos on this one. I almost prefer Wugong over Rotos these days, but I think on this one we're gonna go with this. Okay, so he's basically going with a single nuker only. I should have gone with Wukok, by the way, and not, not Rotos, that was a mistake, but... Um, we are definitely gonna go for the Armandsman. Actually, I think I'm gonna pick the UDK. I was really hoping to pick Helicat, but my Helicat doesn't have reaction, and Georgie is obviously gonna go before it. And his A3 ignores um, Stone Skin. He would one-shot my Helicat. Uh, uh, that's why I... I wanted to save it for last week, and if he picked something else and not like buff strip, I would have definitely gone with it. UDK does have reaction though, so this kind of gives me a good opportunity. If he opens with the AO, AOE nuke, he's kind of gonna waste it, and nobody might die, even Narsus might survive with the reaction proc. Usually they would open with the A3, but I do have, have UDK in reaction. He's gonna survive it if he procs it. And he's gonna survive it also if he doesn't proc passive. And if he's not good gear, he might survive it even with the passive proc because my UDK is pretty tanky. Okay. Moment of truth. Can we make. Oh, he opened with AOE. Okay. Fair enough. If I can get a turn with Narasus now, it's over. <laughs> he has three buffs. I can do A3 and bye bye. That, that was kind of anti-climactic. Maybe he's not... Yeah, okay. <laughs> he gave up. Maybe he's not used to the matchup. Damn, we, we are on a roll today. It, it's been not just today, but all week, so... Feels nice. I'm a little bit bummed out by not getting Primal, but... Then again, maybe I would be too OP if I... <laughs> if I had any Primal champions. I mean, we have the Mika again. We're using it a lot, as you can you can see. But but yeah, if if you guys were depressed about the live arena meta, like I have been a little bit lately, then then hopefully this will give you some encouragement that Mika ge Mika ge Wukong UDK, maybe you have Rotos, but. Mikake, Wukong, UDK are all pretty recent champions. You can go very far with those. Those three are a powerful combination together. Maybe, maybe I'll make a... I should make a separate video about it, to be honest. UDK, Wukong is so annoying, but Mikake kind of belongs to that same team comp these days. Okay, should we open with the Mikake Ankara again, not Dutch Ankara? Okay, Lazarus, I think now the stakes are getting a bit higher. And by the way, th this is one thing I remember during the fusion and after it, lots of people were asking me that is it worth using Ankara if you don't don't have Narsus? But as you can see, my enemies are picking Ankara very often when I have the Narsus, and it's not just so that I can have it, but Ankara is very powerful even by herself. Definitely don't sleep on Ankara. I would say for sure, not even a question, Ankara is way better than Darts right now, 
she's pretty much like the maybe third best reviver. Uh, you know what? I want to pick here. Fuck. Okay. UDK road was kind of panicky, but that's probably what I would have picked. I was kind of thinking between Wukong, but I'm just gonna weak it, so let's go eat Rotos. I would say that number one reviver is definitely Galatir, of course, and number two is Sifi. But honestly, sometimes Ankara can be better than Sifi. It kind of depends. I would say definitely overall, Sifi is better, but with the combination with Narciss and maybe some other situations like if the enemy has like Tormin, you really need some kind of cleanses. Ankara provides that both with the skill and passive, so he can be very good. Are we still gonna go with the Duchess, I think? Yeah. Let's get more more polymorph and hopefully hopefully polymorph the Lazarus. I feel like I basically I'm gonna lose this battle, but if I do get Lazarus Polymorph, then that's my way to win. And I do have multiple polymorphs, so maybe we can get it done. But this is obviously a very scary team. He's gonna go like first with the lockout. He has two two of the most powerful nukers in the game. We're locked out against them, and then he does have tons of utility and like tankiness in the team. Damn, I, I can't even like um I can't do ally attack on the Ankara. She might well not not with on one champion, but she would almost die to it probably. Narsus A2 is pretty powerful, but I can't stun them, I can't ally attack them, and maybe I'll get polymorph here, so Mika get, didn't get to do that much. So to be fair, now Narsus is probably gonna open with the A2 and not AoE Nook. So Mikage was still useful. Since the Narsus Nook scales with the <laughs> with the boss rather than the HP, to be honest. Most of the damage comes from the boss. Too, too bad we don't have Ankara here, because we would get our abilities back easier with with her. Yeah, nice. 69k, take, take that. Only takes like double hit and we could kill the Ankara, but he does have the double nuker and double lockout, so I don't know about this. Okay, nice. We, we, we got the... AoE knew before the um, before the Yumeka got the Hex debuff on us, so that she doesn't reflect it, and it was perfect timing to- oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, now, now if we can just survive a little bit, we're good. If I would get double turn here, which I can't because you need Ankara in your team for it, but we did get rid of the Reviver, so just a little bit surviving and we're good. But um, what's the? I think didn't the Yumeko do a two a a one once instead of putting the hex? I think that was a massive mistake. We wouldn't have gotten that sleep either if he if he put the hex up. Wait, am I being dumb? Again, he went with the a a one. I feel like he didn't use hex unless I unless it was removed from masteries when I took damage, but. Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Tell me, tell me in what comments what happened, Terry. Is she really not using the Hex? I, I could have gotten destroyed by the Hex. Okay, now, now, now we're getting the really, like, really close, close situation. If Narcissus was alive for this ally attack, then... We might honestly almost be able to kill the kill the Lazarus down with supports. Not in this one ally attack, but maybe with couple hits we might be able to take it down. It's kind of hard to pull off a revive with Dutchess when he has double lockout, but maybe if we can kill the Lazarus, I'll get it at some point. This is looking bad. I feel like I'm still gonna lose, but it was super close. Oh, I should have hit the Taras there. Ah, that was my bad. I was too... Blinded by trying to kill the Lazarus, which I'm not gonna be able to kill in time. But Taras A2 
is going to destroy my deltas. Okay, we lost it. It was kind of close, though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> UDK took it. Even still, I think we're not going to make it far enough. Almost. Yeah. I think... Um, well, he banned my second nuker anyway, but I feel like we pretty much drafted the best team I could against that. If I got the Angora, it might have been better, but he did pick it. I feel like I drafted the right team. We, we all, of course, we didn't get like um, Polymorph Rock on Lazarus or Taras. We definitely would have won if we got those, but yeah, I don't think we could have won the battle without that. We, we got pretty far though. I mean, Lazarus is definitely the best nuker out of Primals, and the highest win ratio champion right now in Live Arena, so you don't really want to underestimate Lazarus. I wouldn't mind getting, getting him as my first Primal, even though Dogrixia and uh, Galatir are my number one and number two picks, but Lazarus would definitely be the third one. Wait, am I actually recording today? Okay, great. Anyway, so I think that was the first loss today. We did very well so far, so I can't get too sad about it. And to be honest, I think we picked the right team and we almost won it. So we definitely, if we do that 10 times, maybe we win three, three or four times out of 10. So, it wouldn't be that bad. Wait, this is not the same guy, I don't think. M going with kind of similar type of team though. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the Wukong again because, I mean, with the Rodos again because I don't really want to pick Wukong against all of this uh, magic affinity. I lost one battle the other day because I had like 10 weak hits, weak hits in row against Angora with my Wukong and I still kind of have PTSD about that, so not this time. Uh, I guess we go with Darches and Rotos. Maybe, maybe for once we will go with Necret. Unless he picks Lazarus, but this might actually be a rare battle where Necret might fit in this meta. Ne Necret used to be considered such a powerful champion, but if you watch my videos too, like it's not just me, but my enemies are very rarely using Necret. I see Necret maybe once in 30 battles or whatever, on like, um, maybe maybe once on every other, other video, but on half of the videos nobody picks Necret even once. It's kind of hard to believe that he has fallen that far, but I guess he has. Okay, he went with Helicat. I'm very certain he's gonna go for a ban on Mikake, and I don't think Tormin is gonna be good pick against the Angora here. I think we're gonna go with Necrot. Maybe he goes for Duchess ban actually. Let's see. Either, I don't think he's gonna ban my Nukers. I wish I got the Angora here, but he got it. Okay, he, go he went for the Duchess ban. Meaning that we might be able to buff strip the block damage, but we don't have any revivers. He has harm passive. This is, this seems kind of unwinnable matchup to be honest. We're against like Grixia, Arima, Helicat. It's a nightmare. Oh, he weak hit on Rodos. That's good, but 
ihasti harjuma passive, so... Okay, nice, so obviously Crixia is gonna open with the lockout. She does have immunity buff too, but we got some stuns, so that's great. Okay, we also got the weak hit on, on her. Oh, nice. We <laughs> we was able to lock it out. Great. Okay, the thing is here, I can go for A3, but we're not gonna do any damage because of the Arama passive. But we're gonna do A3 anyway, because we're trying to kill the Angkor as fast as possible. We can get a little bit damage, not a lot. I might regret putting the A3 on cooldown later, but we have to do it. I think Harima is just gonna destroy me now. Especially if I do the buff trip now, and I have to do it, but the Harima is gonna get defense buff. I think I just get one shot here, and that's it. Okay, Roto sur like everybody except Nars has survived, but um, he, <laughs> he still has the Harima passive and the. He reset the cooldowns, okay, yeah. Not fun. A little bit unfair matchup, I would say, but it is what it is. Oh, he has Heligat with more crit damage. Interesting. But yeah. Obviously, we can't win this with Rados. Mm. Yeah, I think this is one of those teams that I just... I will never be able to beat this no matter what. Without pulling, pulling better champions. But with my champions, there is really not any kind of team that I can... I can draft that would win this. I'm just... Massively uh, outmatched here. Even if I get like 15 Rotos turns, that's gonna help. O of course, if I got the Harima Polymorph, and we could have, then that would have been a win condition, but that's it. Not without Polymorph, and to be honest, we had double Polymorph, so it totally could have happened. I do have my Rotos right now in Polymorph instead of Bone Armor. Yeah, Necrot was kind of... He really didn't do much there, but I really... There wasn't any anybody else to really pick either, but... Um, maybe somebody like Python would have actually been useful, but my Python isn't even geared right now. Should I, should I gear my Python? Maybe I actually should gear my, my Python. I think there are some rare, rare battles where I could use some heals when I'm locked out, and an extra reviver, since they like to pink, pick my Ankara very often. Maybe I'll regear Python after this video. Okay, we, we had double annoying losses, let's get the massive win streak now. Of course you can't win every battle, but I might not sound like it, but I'm extremely competitive person, so I hate losing. I'm thinking, should I go with Mikake and um, Narsus or should I go with Jatsus? But I think, actually in this battle, I'm gonna go with Jatsus instead of Mikake. I might still pick Mikake later, but... The whales are gonna be super good against Harima. Oh, he he went with Mika Ken Wukong. God damn it. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to go with Rotos and Ankara. Or should I go with Rotos and UDK? 
I kind of want to get the Angra here, but actually, let's go with the UDK. Okay, is he gonna go with triple nuker? That might actually be a smart choice in this battle. Or is it just gonna be a lockout or something like that? What? Arbiter? He already has an attack buff from Mikage. Me okay, maybe... I think, yeah, he's gonna ban you. That's why he went with Arbiter. He's gonna ban UDK. He's not gonna ban my Armands. I think that's probably why he... What? He banned my Duchess? That that doesn't make any sense. Okay. I understand, though, that he picked Arbiter because he's not planning to ban my Armands. But he clearly doesn't know that my Armands isn't fast and he is in stone skin, so... Even if he goes before me, but if he doesn't have some kind of way to lock him up, then it's not gonna be Isu. Lockout would have been a better choice there than Arbiter. Wait, what? See if he was fastest anyway. Now I'm super confused why he, why he went with the Arbiter pick. Damn, we got Polymorph. That's not great. Uh, yeah, that, that's not good at all, because not, that means that I need to land this polymorph. If I don't land it, I'm screwed. Okay, good. Um, UDK wouldn't be able to protect my Rotos from the Mikake A1. And of course, he does, does the stun and turn with a reduction on the A3 as well, but I think we're good. Little bit, little bit panicky, but I think we got this. Him banning Duchess though was not what I was expecting at all. But may maybe he was confident that he has maybe like some kind of two-piece perception and very high accuracy on Wukong. So maybe he was co confident that he could polymorph my UDK. He's not really built in resistance, but Resistance builds on UDK are actually quite common. I would say that he's literally the most common champion to be built on resistance, so often you kind of don't want to risk it because there's a good possibility that he would have ha had to wait out the full 6p stone skin. I do have a little bit resistance, like 431, but he's built for maximum tankiness. He just has a, has a little bit resistance on the side, I guess. I'm actually gonna switch the beat, beat later today, today and go for some sh secret strategies for the next Platinum Marina push. Stay tuned, it's gonna be streamed. I think I'm gonna do well, <laughs> at least better than last week, but we will see. But I'm gonna go with UDK Wukong defense. Instead of Rotos and kind of um, broaden my horizons and try to create new meta stuff. So we'll see about that. But I will switch my UDK build for the reset as well. Not a lot, but a little bit. You, you will see. Okay. Sifi and Daras. Those are pretty powerful picks, but. In this meta, they are not the typical um, first two picks. I often are am able to deal with those, so not too scared about them. Should I even go with Mikake and Narsus, or should I go with UDK and Narsus right off the bat? Then I'm not gonna have a lot of polymorph. early on in the party, but I think that that's what we're gonna do, yeah. UDK does have a great matchup against both of those two. Can't, can't wait to get Polymorph on my UDK. I think I will very often either go with, um, like, right now I'm going for the Mikage or Duchess Narcissus as my second pick. But when I get Polymorph on UDK, it's very often going to be UDK Narsus. That will probably be my most common second pick. Okay, he has the Harima. We definitely want to get 
as much polymorph as possible against Harima. I think we're gonna go with Guts as Rotos. That, that way we have three champions with polymorph and... Like I said in the previous battle, Guts as well can actually be very good against Harima because... He might not be able to finish my Rotos with the multi-hit and then do the AoE attack. And also I have her in polymorph so... If we can get rid of the Harima passive, we can easily like kill his team in the meantime. Okay, what do I want to ban though? Should I still go for that? I'm kind of torn between Mikage and Harima. Hopefully I won't regret this, but Mikage is gonna be pain. Wait, did I just get... I didn't see that. Did I get Polymorph from the Maritska A1? That's kind of unfortunate. But then he destroyed it after, afterwards with Taras. What? Okay, that's, that's a weird turn of events. What, I do have the double Polymorph, so maybe she will get Polymorphed as well. Okay, great. I guess that's pretty much it. Um, he didn't use the strength and he's waiting to use it after uh, and the shield after I use my AoE nuke. But we're gonna do it anyway. We're not gonna save it for later. And the CV, CV I guess was in Divine 2 piece set. So she took the double damage anyway. But, but this battle is pretty much over. Protoss can be super powerful against Taras and Marichka. If you have UDK protecting you, so that you don't get stunned, or if you have Sifi that um, doesn't let your Rotos take stuns, that would be even better, but I don't have that. But as long as you don't get stunned from the A2 when you hit uh, Maritska, Rotos can really kill Maritska with the A3, and then the other Reviver with the A2, and that is often enough. But so far so good, I think there's no way that we can we can lose the battle at this point, to be honest. Damn, winning, winning feels nice. Maybe, maybe we can even get to 5.3k points today. There was like a per period of two months where, for a couple reasons, but I wasn't playing a lot live arena. But one of the reasons, not really the main reason, but one of the reasons was that um, I wasn't... Uh, <laughs> The meta was super challenging for me, but now that I'm actively back playing and we figured figured how to adapt to the meta, we're doing super well. And I think if I'm active, we can climb a lot. We're we're definitely gonna set out the goal to get back to top hundred in live arena again. Even though it's a totally meaningless title and you don't get anything from it, and it's actually a pretty long grind. Um, with yeah, you definitely can't see it right now. Let me put my myself somewhere else. So, as you can see, I'm ranked 208, which is I have gone fallen a lot from the rankings, mo mostly because I didn't play. Not that my win ratio is like great or anything, but we are like 600 points be below top 100. So those people play it actively. I need to grind a lot to get there. I can definitely do it if I like play a lot now. As you can see, we're mostly winning, but that's gonna take a mass amount of games, like 600 points. That that's a lot of games. That's gonna be hundreds of games, but that's gonna be the goal. I'm sure we can do it during the summer, but uh, probably not in a month. We'll see. Maybe it's doable in a month if I play like. Almost every day, maybe I can do it. No, <laughs> can't do it. 
can do that. Maybe, maybe, actually maybe, yeah. maybe I can do it. It's possible to do it in a month if I do well, I guess. Let, let me position myself properly so the monitor is, uh, the microphone is hidden a little bit. I kind of hate when it's visible on the screen, but the audio is way better if I have it close, so that's why we go with this. I hope it looks good. I kind of messed, messed the angle, usually I pay attention to it, but had to move it for that. Anyway, if you if you want to take anything out of this video is that uh, don't underestimate the Wukong Mikage UDK combination. They are super powerful, even against the meta stuff. And and if you get the first pick, don't pick anything else apart from Armands. Wasn't the Somebody didn't pick Armands. I think it was my clan mate that didn't pick Armands as the first pick. M maybe it was somebody else, but... Oh, let's see what's happening on Reddit today. Don't need to see all of the tabs. Not that there's anything secret, but it's just me reading manga or something like that. So I don't think you guys care about that. Oh, Lazarus. I hate Lazarus. This time he's not picking Ankara though, so we're definitely gonna go with him, even if we're gonna have less polymorph because of that. thing is, UDK is not really that good against Lazarus, but I don't want him to get the UDK. We, we have to go with UDK, to be honest. Ankara will, be by <laughs> Ankara will be my last pick if he lets me have it. Okay, let's see what's, what's up on Reddit. Wait, what? Okay. Good enough. Oh, Harima <laughs> Galatir. God damn, that's that's a that's not a nice team. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to battle this one. Yeah, I don't think we're. I don't think I can beat this one to be honest, unless I get some. Polymorph procs, and the last two battles where I needed Polymorph to win, I didn't get them, so we will see. <laughs> Why are we making armor out of Bomal's godpiece? I mean, isn't that pretty badass, to be fair? <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way, but I find it kind of funny. Th that's a good, uh, good meme by Plarium. Okay, we'll get back to that after this peace battle. Should I say this loss <laughs> is what I meant to say. Yeah, Rodos is gonna get revived and instantly, instantly dies. We didn't get the polymorph on either uh, Galatir or Harima, and that's pretty much it for it, this fight. We needed that, and we didn't get it, so we lost. Not even gonna get turns, but even if I did, I couldn't do any damage because of Harima passive. Yeah, okay. Fuck that, I'm not <laughs> I'm not even gonna stay there and wait. We we can't win it. A little bit depressing and anticlimactic but sometimes you just you you lost and you need to accept it and and we, we definitely lost that one
Yeah, I think Calamitos is meant to be some kind of Hydra champion. I tune out for that stuff, as you you guys, guys might be aware. But it almost comes down to the same thing on Hydra. First of all, I don't like competing in Hydra. I think if there was some kind of PvE competition where you actually compete with other players more directly through PvE battles, that might be interesting. But if it's just a battle against AI boss, um, I don't think that's very interesting or competitive, especially in a gacha game. It just comes down to like who has best champions and there's basically... Of course, you need to build good teams, but you're not going to be able to overcome that by strategy, which you sometimes might be able to in PvP. And yeah, I just don't care about Hydra, but anything is going to pale in, in comparison to Tranda, so any other Nuga is, is basically not uh, relevant at all there. Are we gonna... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this. That's why Hydra meta is kind of stale, because only champions that really matter on on Hydra are supports that might be able to work well with Trandra, but since we already have Yumeko, W Yumeko and Chu Chen is what people run with her, the bar is very high for a champion to actually be worth using in a Tranda team. Oh, he went with Siegfront. That's interesting. Double Lockout and Siegfront. I guess we're gonna go with Rotos and UDK again to maximize the Polymorph, but we literally have like no revive if I do it. I don't know if I really want to go for this, but UDK would be so good that I probably have to have to do it. Or should I go with Un Ankara instead of... Um, it's a hard choice. I think we're just gonna go with this. Y yeah. No reviver at all. Yeah, my condolences. I hope my first... Mythical isn't isn't for me, but to be fair, it could be even worse. It could be Aphidius or Calamitus or some kind of PvE champion. So stay strong. I don't know. I don't know. Nine two one nine. I love those type of um, names on the internet with lots of numbers. They kind of remind of that old internet days. Um, I don't think there's really too many... Damn, I forget the, forget the name of the blessing. There isn't really too many... blessings to go with on Rotalos if you don't have it at Dickstar. I would just go with Heaven Cast, which gives you extra damage when you have boss, but that kind of depends what you run, but he's even gonna do some self buffs, so that's probably gonna be the one that gives you most utility. But yeah, th this guy has both Galatir and Grixia and doesn't get Polymorph. Not fair. He should give me at least one of them. We, we 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 should have this kind of rule rule in uh, in raid that is if somebody has both Kalatir and Krixia and he loses a battle, then he should have to give one of those to the to the enemy player. I think that would only be fair to be honest. Not like he's gonna lose, but if he loses, then I should be able to join join one of those. Yeah, this is pure pain. We're getting stunned on top of lockout. Oh, finally we got a polymorph, but that's a bit too late and that's on wrong champion. By the way, he has three champions with lockout. <laughs> Shu Chen just got polymorphed when she was trying to use her A1 lockout, but every goddamn champion in this battle does 
lock out except the except the nuker. He should have picked Lazarus for the good measure, just to like put the middle finger harder in my face. Oh, we got the extra turn. Nice, nice. Can we make a comeback? Probably not, but that will make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> not, not a lot. Yeah, we're getting locked out for the 15th time during this battle. Damn, the, the last couple battles, the polymorph is really failing on me. The debuffs are raining down on me. And no, nobody's getting polymorphed. I mean, we got one polymorph, but it was on the least important champion, and it was too late. If we got the polymorph on the Galatir at the start, we probably could have won this battle, but now it's too late. Extra turn, come on. Ugh. If I got the extra turn there, maybe, maybe tiny chance to win, but no. Okay, now, now it's definitely over. He has to whale up, even if we get extra turn on Rotos and no weak hit, that's not gonna save us. Oh, and I guess Seekrun is even gonna go before us, yeah. Sucks. <sighs> yeah, not not fair, I was just complaining how PV, is, PV sucks, but definitely PvP can suck as well, but... To be fair, we we could have won this battle. We definitely had a chance if we just got Polymorph on Galatir and Krixia. And we probably got a little bit unlucky there because the battle lasted for quite, quite a while and he did countless debuffs with them on us. There was really, really high chance that one of them, apart from Shuj and like either Krixia or Galatir could have been Polymorphed, maybe both of them at that point, but we got pretty unlucky. Wait, he had a plus three Siegfried. Holy moly! This is some kind of <laughs> some kind of mega whale account, I guess. God damn, plus three Siegfried. Siegfried is basically the hardest hitting champion in the game. There's a couple of different champions that can be the hardest hitting ones, but they're all super conditional. But basically, it's the hardest hitting champion for PvP. But I I feel like Siegfried is worse than Lazarus for sure. He's so he's so well countered by UDK or our base. And he doesn't really offer a lot of utility like the other primals do, because he can't switch the form unless he's the last person in, in your team. And usually, obviously, the enemy isn't gonna kill your team if the Seafrun is alive. So he basically only has the one AoE nook that doesn't do that much damage and then the one ultra hard hitting basically Wukong A2. But if you have UDK against it, like you saw with that guy, it took him like three plus minutes to kill me, even though I was getting like double and triple and quadruple locked out and I didn't get to do anything in the battle but it still took him that long to win me and of course somebody like uh, Lazarus would have killed me in like 30 seconds so even despite the UDK so I feel like Sigfrund is very good but I feel like he's worse in practice than he sounds on paper I definitely wouldn't mind getting him, but I would rather have those supports. He took the Naruto, so I guess we have to go with the early early Rotos. I didn't even get him first in the team order because I was rambling and running out of time. I think maybe I'm gonna do like a big marathon that I'll do more more live, live arena videos than I do even normally because I really want to get the top 100 now that I think about it. It's doable 
and why not? Let's do a massive amount of uh, live arena grind and get there. We can do it, so might as well. I kind of need some kind of goals in the game because my main goal is always to pull, <laughs> pull good champions, but that isn't up to me. But getting top 100 is a goal that I can do, so... And maybe we will come up with some even better strategies along the way. What do I pick as my last support? Maybe I, maybe I should have gone with the Datsus, but we went with the Mikage. Ronda? Actually, yeah, I'm no, no way I'm gonna ban the Narthus, so not picking the Datsus was the right decision. Now I just need to decide what I do now, but there's not really... It's not a hard choice. I'm definitely gonna go for the Ronda ban, since basically Wukong is my win condition here, and we might be able to do it even through getting locked out. Though the issue is that he has both Sifi and Shu Chen, and even if my UDK might get my Wukong revived many times, but is he even gonna get the turn in between dying? Because he's gonna move so fast and lap me. I might not I might not be able to do the A2, even if it comes out of cooldown. But let's find out. Looks like we're not getting the 5.3k points today though. It kind of looked like we could do it at the start, but now we're meeting too many teams with Grixia, Galatir and Harima. And we're kind of uh, getting backtracked a lot. Oh, it's a protection Sifi. Interesting. You do see them actually pretty often. You can get very fast build on a Sifi with the protection. I guess it's the fastest one. With with, uh, with five piece protection, and the the actual protection effect can be pretty good too. But that's not the reason why why he's using it. I don't think. Do I want to hit Narsus here? I I don't think so. I might even be able to kill the warlord. Yeah, nice. It was a squeezy one, and my my Rodos has very good gear, so. Even A1 was able to do it, and don't get me wrong, Rodos A1 doesn't have good multiplier. It's all about the A3, and even the A2 can do pretty good damage, but the A1 has so insane utility, with a chance to get extra turn, that for good reason the actual damage is very low. Okay, so... There went Protoss, and he's never gonna come back in this battle. Now it's all gonna come down if we can kill him with Wukong or not. And I don't think we can. That's gonna be an issue here. Not only does he have like two lockout champions in Xu Chen and Warlord, but also he has the speed buffs and for multiple champions and the extra turns from from the Yumeko. That even if we get the A2 back, we might not be able to use it. So wait, can we kill it with the ally attack? Maybe we might be able to do it now. We're gonna get attack buff. It's gonna do. A lot of damage. Okay, nice. Pretty sure I'm gonna get locked out now before Wukong gets a turn. But at least we got rid of the Sifi, so we might have a tiny chance. 
Okay, B. I hope he has A too. Okay, never mind. No Angola. Yeah, I, I wish my Wukong would have died so it didn't get locked out like he did just now. Okay, it's gonna come down to how long my UDK can survive or if he gets Helm Smasher Prox on the Narcissus, but he doesn't really have heals that would also heal my UDK, so I don't think I can take this. I still have to go for the supports before the Narcissus, sadly. Oh, I wasn't expecting the Warlord to die there. It's getting close, but I don't think we can win it. It's only gonna take like 1A2, yeah. No? Okay, the next A2 is definitely gonna kill the UDK. Man, it would have been super nice. Oh, he doesn't have Polymorph. <laughs> if my UDK would have gotten Polymorph there, <laughs> that could have won us the battle, but he doesn't have Polymorph on the Shu Chen. Close one. It was a super, super hard matchup, but we almost could have won this battle. If Rotos got some extra turns, or if we got some Polymorph, or not that he had a lot of debuffs, but from Shu Chen, just like any any small thing, and we could have won the battle. But it's okay. But I guess our losses are kind of racking up now. We were decimating them at the start, but. Now we are mostly mostly meeting these kind of really strong accounts, so I did I did too well for my own good, I guess. Okay, interesting question. I don't want to rush too hard, I don't, like, it all comes down to what level your account is, like, I, I can't really know what the level of his gear is, but I don't recommend, like, the question here was that, um, is my Harima decent? I would not build her on 6p stone skin, you're gonna lose so much damage. It's often not gonna be enough to kill the enemy, and we can already see that the defense is yeah, he, he's... Okay, he's very early game. He has very low defense and crit damage, and I'm sure you can do better, even regardless of the passive effects, I'm sure you can do a better build on, like, Savage or Lethal. 4P Stone Skin is definitely the way to go on Harima. That can be really annoying for teams like Lazarus or... Um, um, Lazarus or Narses or whoever, the Harima passive is gonna be super annoying for them if they have to wait an extra turn to wait out the stone skin. I'm pretty sure this account is so early game that he's not gonna have any stone skin accessories. In that case, I would still just build him in Savage or Lethal because you want to get the damage, but. He's clearly sacrificing a lot of damage to get the 6p stone skin, and both the damage and the speed are low, so... It's gonna be pretty hard to kill any enemy teams, even if you might be able to survive for a while because of the stone skin and the passive, but I wouldn't go with that. Okay, this might be a Wukong battle, but we'll see. <laughs> I really don't want to pick it against Ankara, but... Wukong is better against Narses than Rodos for sure. Uh, 
Ah, uh, come on. Lazarus and Gizmark. God damn it. I think we're gonna continue with the Lost Streak. I didn't want to pick Duchess in this battle because of the uh, Narsus A2 and my Duchess being in Bolster set, but we're probably gonna ban the Narsus and go with the Duchess, even if he picks a lockout. Wait. I can't even do that. I can only pick Nougars at this time. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, this one is a lost cause. Okay, never mind the Duchess. We can't then go with that. I rely on the Narsus way too much, and since he got both Narsus and Ankara, and I definitely would have picked either one of them or both of them if he didn't pick them, it's a really hard position for me at this time. Well, we'll see. I mean, I guess he's not running a speed team, and we got the Mikage, and we have Wukong Aura. Pretty sure my Mikage is gonna go first and able to stun them. Maybe I could go with Ally Attack too, if I wanted to. Okay, I guess we're gonna go with the Ally Attack then. Everybody has the stone skin, so maybe this is better choice. Okay, a lot of reaction procs. Not too good. Then we get the polymorph. We didn't get it at the start on Gizmark, but we might. He still has both Lazarus and Gizmark, so... Maybe if we get the Polymorph and Lugon might be able to finish the job, that might be the way that I can win this battle. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's Plario or me. I feel like usually when this happens, let me double check. Actually, okay, never mind. Yeah, my internet is working. Maybe my internet took like a second to load YouTube, but pretty sure it's still on the Plarium side and not me. This happens quite often. I don't, I don't get this issue in any other part of the game except in Live Arena. It happens pretty often. But God damn you, Plarium! Why you do this? Okay, we lost it. I mean, wait, what? You have left the battle. Okay, come on. Come on, I didn't even leave the battle. Wukong was still alive. At least you could have let me play this battle and see who wins. Larium is just DDoSing me at this point and like <laughs> cancelling my battles. Not nice. But we're still gonna get the top 100, even, even if Plarium is DDoSing us. I mean, my internet was working, I checked on my other screen, so... It's just a uh, Plarium client being a little bit wonky. There has been so many bugs in Live Arena, like, that's not the only one, there's so many different ones. That might be the first R base we see today, but R base is very strong pick. Okay, this time I think we're actually gonna go with Wukong instead of Rotos. It will have better 
matchup against uh, our base. Not only are we not weak affinity, but we also have a little bit of AoE. Should I go with Duchess as well in that case? No, pro probably I'm still gonna go with um, Angora as the last pick, but let's see. We're not gonna have a lot of Polymorph this time. Sadly. Oh, Ronda. Ronda. I, uh. Okay. I feel like he's gonna go for the Angora ban if he went with Ronda, but we still have to ban the Armands. There's no way we can ban Ronda this time. Actually, should I? I think I need to go with Dotsus. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Dotsus instead of Angora. Just in case he. He doesn't ban the Dotsus. Okay. We're gonna have we're gonna have one Polymorph champion now, otherwise we wouldn't have had any since he banned the Mikake. Ronda is also a super good free champion, even though I don't use her myself, she just doesn't with my champions and playstyle, but she's definitely one of the best nukers in live arena. I would almost say that um, I would almost say she's better than Siegfried. On paper, Siegfried is better, but there's some matchups like what just happened now with Wukong. Ronda is insanely good. And wait, what? He put the shield up. Am I just not gonna kill everybody with Narciss A2? I could proc revive the Ronda here. But I think I'm gonna kill everybody except our, except uh, our base with A2 nuke. Oh, oh, he had to revive. Maybe, maybe that was a mistake on my part. I probably should have block revived the Ronda. I, I might regret that. We'll see. The thing is that Narsus A2 ignores the Cedric from passive, and we were able to kill it without him blocking it. So I kind of, <laughs> it's kind of fun to go for that, but. I probably should have played it safe and done the A A3 on Ronda and block revived it, but I guess we'll find out. Ronda has the A2, so Wukong is not gonna get a turn. At least not right now, but... I don't think the lightning gains counts as a buff. I'm not sure if we're gonna block revive it now or not, but okay, our base is gonna do her stuff anyway. Uh, damn, Siegfried is still alive. Uh, we, we have to kill Siegfried first, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise he's gonna revive everybody. Uh, I, I hope I don't get some kind of counter attacks against Ronda. But damn, Wukong stole everything. He has stone buff and stone skin. And my Wukong isn't really... Let me show you the accuracy in a second, but my Wukong really doesn't have any accuracy. It's kind of funny that he was able to steal everything. My my Wukong is just built for full damage, not, not accuracy. But yeah, even though it looks super juicy, and we could easily kill the Ronda now with supports. But we need to resist the temptation and wait for the Siegfried to die. This is what I'm saying, that Siegfried is better on paper than he is in practice. Because it's a little bit annoying that we have to wait out and we can't finish the Ronda. But the Siegfried second form is not going to do anything. He's, if you play it smart, he's never able to use the second form. And unlike other primals, he's getting instantly locked out and not able to do anything. Yeah, there we, <laughs> there we go. That that's good. And also, he does have that annoying matchup that, even though the passive is super strong, and Siegfried basically can be one shot, but Nurses A2 does ignore that passive. 
even though it doesn't ignore Karima passive, so he's still gonna die, die to the Siegfrun, I and mean, to the Tarase too. Not the other skills, A3 wouldn't ignore this, but uh, A2 will. And getting block damage for two turns when you're about to die is insanely strong passive, don't get me wrong. This is what I'm saying, that Siegfrun is better on paper than practice. This passive is super good, the damage on the uh, A3 is the highest in the game, basically. But there's so many popular champions that do block buff debuff or buff strip. Mikage, uh, um, Mikage, Armans, Lazarus, Wukong, many of the most popular champions that can counter this. And then Nurses also ignores this. And just because of that, the meta kind of makes Siegfried a lot worse than he would be otherwise. It's kind of the same with stuff like Idatsis and Necrot, that they are good on paper, but because of the, the existence of champions like Narses and Lazarus, who are incredibly common, both of them suck. Garces can be kind of okay sometimes, and Necrot too, but most of the time the enemy matchup is just making them unviable. But okay, let's see what accuracy I have on my Wukong. I think we're like at... are we even 200? Yeah, we're like one, 193 accuracy. I can't believe that I stole all of the buffs from our base and everybody on his team. Surely I got like... 3% in in that role, because there's no way he has like 200 resistance on those champions. Even if he didn't build anything, then surely surely our base should have maybe like 300-400 resistance on like accident. Even the Sifi has 6 star polymorph, so we definitely should have not been able to hit it, so I guess I got lucky. But yeah, even though some battles, maybe I got a little bit negative because I lost, but the enemies that we lost against, they had like crazy crazy accounts, so we can't get too mad about that, and even those accounts, we could have won against them if we proc Polymorph, so we pretty much had a chance to win everybody today. I think there was like three battles that were unwinnable with, without Polymorph, but even those were winnable, and some of the other ones that I lost, I could have just won, won them for other reasons as well. I think we have to go with R Rotos here. Probably Anchor last pick if he doesn't take it, or or then Dutchess because I I might need Polymorph. Okay, work. I hate this matchup. I really want to ban the Ronda, but I can't. So I think we're gonna go with Anchor and still ban the Armands. But this is gonna be a very 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 tough battle. He counters me pretty hard with this team, and we only have one polymorph. Yeah, even Narsus needs to get the polymorph if 
if he had six star blessing and rock polymorph, that could have been an easy win condition in this battle. Oh damn, Ronda has like one HP left. Yeah, there's no way we can win against this one. Maybe if I get the revive up on uh, Angora, but I don't even know if I'm... Is he gonna get lock out in time? And even if I do, he has the Harima passive, so it's not like, an, like I can one-shot his team, but... Okay, and I got locked out again, yeah. We, we lost it, it it's over. Even Ronda has walkout. I feel like he... Surely she... Didn't she open with the lockout? I guess she got a re refresh proc. I maybe got a little bit extra unlucky there. <laughs> yeah, she, she definitely got a refresh proc because she shouldn't have had the cooldown back up already. Okay, we got the second big Armands, I'll, I'll take it. Thank you. I guess Jeff missed out on the Armands fusion, I assume. Damn, we're meeting a lot of Harimas at the end of the video. Probably he's gonna pick Mikake as well. Maybe, maybe Mikake and UDK are gonna be his last two picks, but maybe we can snatch them from him. Should I just go with those? Then I'm not gonna have any reviver at all. Should I have one reviver? I think we're gonna go with this. Maybe I could have taken reviver instead of Mikage, but we definitely want to get the UDK at least. Probably I'm gonna go for Oh, he went with triple nuka, that's smart. Yeah, we're still gonna go with the Harima ban, but the Ragas pick was smart, and that's gonna... <laughs> we're gonna lose because of the uh, Ragas pick, I assume. Dude, I don't have Ragas. I would use Ragas if I had one, but I still haven't gotten one of him, never mind Harima or some of the, some of the more potent stuff, but even Ragash would be very nice to have. Definitely much better than Staldus in my opinion. Probably would be pretty okay with the Mikage as well, since I'm using her a lot and she does the buff strip. If I had Ragas, I would I will pick it against the Harima teams very often. That that would be a good good counter against them and I don't really have any ways to deal with um I think we're gonna open with the buff strip, not the attack. I don't have any ways to counter Harima right now, but Rakas Mikake would be a way to do it. I kind of wanted to open with the uh, ally attack, but the Sifi looked so tanky that she definitely would not have died to it. Okay, 
Everybody else did though, and even though they got revived, but they obviously... Oh, sweet Barry. They obviously didn't get the um, turn meter. That's the issue with normal revive on that. Oh, so we got polymorphed, I think, by the Wukong there, but he didn't have enough accuracy, so <laughs> my Mikaki actually resisted it. Nice. But the normal revive on death doesn't revive you with turn meter, like Marit's passive, and it actually is pretty bad because of that. Can we sleep the Sifi? Nice. Sifi is kind of... Wait, does he have the... No, he doesn't have it. Okay. Sifi always does that to other people, so she got to taste her own medicine. Damn, it's looking bad, though. I don't have any... <laughs> I don't have any... Uh, I think we lost it. We don't have Ankara. We're not gonna get double turn. And we don't have any reviver, so... I guess that's it. If Wukong has the AoE nuke, I think Wukong does have it. It's over. Would I... Oh, Cardinal didn't even die. I'm thinking, would I be able to kill... Kill Ragas with UDK. No, no way I can do it. Oh, he didn't have the AoE nook. Nice. Uh, should, uh, should I go with the A1 or A3? I think we need to go for the A1. I want to do the A3, but we have to we have to finish off the Cardial. Pretty sure he can kill my Narsus now, though. Yeah. Eh, he wouldn't have survived even otherwise, so... Not, don't think it matters. Okay. Kind of close, but we did lose it. If he didn't have that Ragas, it would have been an easy battle, but when he got the Ragas, I kind of knew that I I was gonna lose at that point. Well, I, I feel like I'm kind of getting shafted with the Polymorph. I mean, again, we didn't proc Polymorph. We, we, if we got Polymorph proc on the Ragas, then Nobody would have even died in the battle, but when we really need it, we're not we're not really getting the polymorph. Need to get need to get the QDK in polymorph. I think it's gonna make a massive difference in my win ratio just overall because there's gonna be so many battles that I will literally literally win just because because I get the polymorph proc and UDK is one of those champions that I use a lot. Even without Polymorph, but if he had Polymorph, then he would be way better. And I still need like 150 tier 2 SSS, so it's gonna take a while. It's not like I'm gonna get it instantly, but in a few months, I think I might be able to get it during the summer, but it's gonna take at least like 3 4 months to do it. And he's probably gonna go with pretty much the same stuff. He knows what works against us, so. Oh, what? This is a lot different. Should I actually go with... With, uh... Mm -hmm. Necrator does as if he's going with bombs. Rotos is good against Georgid, but not against bombs, and Wukong is good against Georgid, but we don't have like UDK or somebody that is gonna stay alive after the George Nook. What should I do here? I think we're gonna go with this, but 
I'm not very confident about this battle either. And he picked triple nuker against us. Two battles in row. That, that's pretty interesting. Is it gonna be a lockout? What is gonna be the last one? Tormin, interesting. I guess he's gonna go for... Nah, he's not gonna go for Duchess ban. I feel like Tormin isn't... isn't that bad. I could almost go for a Sifi ban. I feel like surely my Wukong is faster than... than his team. Maybe we can kill them with the A3. Should I do it? Should I do it? Nah, he has to have stone skin on the... Oh my god. He has to have stone, stone skin on the Georgid, so... It wouldn't work. So, not only did, did he go with triple nuker, but quadruple. I assume George at least is in stone skin, but does he have any of the other nukers in it? Okay, he has two stone skin. Yeah, so banning the CV wouldn't have worked out. And again, no polymorph. Dude, where is the polymorph when I need it? Not happy with this. Can we kill the CV? Okay. <laughs> Everybody got frozen. No polymorph again. God damn it. Well, okay, to be fair, Duchess didn't get frozen, so it's not like I, I could have proc polymorph there. <laughs> Uh, should I even use the... Well, British or Narciss is gonna die to the bombs. Well, George Day 1 is gonna kill my daughters anyway, so... Might as well use it. I mean... Yeah. N not like the other skills couldn't kill my daughters, but especially the... A1 can one-shot her easily. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I definitely don't have enough polymorph. That that is clear. Wait, wait. C can we do it? Maybe a tiny chance. Can we get it here? No. No way. <laughs> Wukong is gonna get revived too. I think we got it. Damn, I, I was getting worried there. The Tormin was schooling me, but um all I needed was just one turn on uh, on Narsus, and that was good enough. And to be fair, at that point, even if Narsus didn't have enough damage, the Wukong would have decimated them anyway. So when we got the stun up, it was over. And let me just show you that the damage on oh it and no we have we have one more okay. Even if the damage on the Narsus might have seen seemed insane, but we don't even... This is not even the final form of my Narciss. First of all, he's in speed boots, not HP boots. I kind of swap this around and I go with more damage on the classic arena reset. But here I have him in speed boots and kind of semi-fast build. But also, we don't have the blessing and we're gonna get 1000 HP and 38 crit damage when we can get one more split soul on him, that's gonna make a huge difference. Okay, let's see. So, we have like um, 380 tier 1 tokens. We can we can buy it for Narsus, and we got like um, 170 tier 2 tokens, and we're gonna need 300 for the UDK, so when I get those two, it's gonna be a huge difference, and I guess on Monday there is a Soulstone event. I do have a lot of a lot of Soulstones. I can even buy buy a lot here. So probably there's gonna be a big big pull session on my standards on mon Monday. But obviously I don't have any eternal Soulstones, and I'm mostly just pulling the mortal ones. The chances to get a six star is pretty low. 
even just getting a legendary one is pretty low. So far, I have only pulled one six star soul on legendary champions, and he, it was on um, where is she? Minaya. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very, very relevant champion. Though I think Minaya is actually pretty good on Amius these days, but I didn't. Um, I didn't keep it because that was way before Amius. Wait, we can do one. Okay, we didn't get anything good here, but we can do one prior mola summons. Okay, almost two. Come on, just give me the Galatir. Come on, Parium, you can do it. Show me the Galatir. Come on. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much whatever epic they give me, I don't care. I just want to get the primal like everybody else, but of course. Of course not. Okay. Final battle. Let's get a win. Maybe if it's a fast one, then we might get two, but... Obviously everybody, not not everybody, some people get insanely lucky, but obviously I'm not the only one that doesn't have good luck with champions, but it is very painful if you if you play this game a lot and are super into it. It's extremely um, frustrating to, to be handicapped by the champions so much. I talk, it, talk about it a lot, but it, it pains me a lot, let's put it that way. I, I'm not handicapped just a little bit, but like by an immense amount. <laughs> There's so many accounts that they played like the game for like two years and they're free to play and they have way better roster than me. I shouldn't feel like bad about it because of course good for them, but my chart pools have been terrible and it is super frustrating, especially like I played the game so long. Surely at some point my my luck would change and I could get the meta champion, but it never happens. Not that you can't get pretty far with like three champions, like Fusion's three champions and the Norse seventh. You can get pretty far with those, but n n not as far as I want to go. To, to be fair though, most of the meta champions fade away at some point, so I might not um, feel bad about about not having something like, let's say, Leorios or Ursuka in the current meta. So, some of them like, some of them just will, will suck at some point, but then there's ones like Sifi and I'm sure Galatir and Grixia. They will never be they will never be out of the meta. It's impossible for meta to change so much that they wouldn't be top tier champions. Okay, he's going for a speed team. I guess we're gonna go with Wukong actually. Wukong and Angora are Maybe I'll go without any Reviver. Maybe we'll go with Mikake and Wugong. Maybe that's the way to go. Usually, in the past, I would pick like double Reviver against these types of team speed teams, but we're, we're gonna go this time without ah, Harima, without any Reviver at all. I was gonna go for the Ronda back ban, and I'm still gonna do it, but the Armand's pick was actually really good here. It's kind of a weird team, but I also picked a weird team against it, and I think his Squeeze's B team is gonna be too, too tanky for us now with the Harima passive. Un unless we get the Polymorph proc that I need in every battle.
Okay, the, the meals on everybody is very low HP though. So maybe we can brute force it even through the Harima passive. I always say this, but even if you build a very fast city, in these days, it's not like it used to be. I wouldn't go with flat attack, chest or glass or anything like that. Even if it's a tanky Sifi, you want... Even if it's a fast Sifi, you still want her to be a little bit tanky. Ah, he barely had enough damage to one-shot our Narcissus. And of course, we didn't get like reaction proc. But if we have like 1000 more HP or something like that, I think we would have survived it. But because the Sifi is so low HP, we might have a chance to actually kill it with Wukong A1s, even through the Harima passive that is completely <laughs> completely decimating the damage of the Wukong A2. I feel like we're gonna lose it though. I can't stun everybody, but I think we're still gonna do it. And we are gonna reduce the turn meter of Harimo and Sifi, so it's still worth. Nah. How come she already got that? Got that. Um, I guess we're gonna go with the A2, even though it's gonna. It, it won't do any damage because of the stupid Harima passive, but we're gonna lose soon anyway, and we have to go for kills. And we're gonna get locked out, so there's no point in holding on to the A2. Though in other situations, I would often do that. Wait, are we gonna get to do the A3? Can I kill the... Can I kill the... Uh, if we steal the attack buff now, I might be able to kill Arbiter and maybe everybody but Harima. Oh, resisted. Ugh. Wait, Harima died, but not the other ones. But I think that's it. Okay, she didn't die, but we got the taunt. Nice. Okay, that was super close one. I I so thought that I was gonna lose it, but I'm happy with the win. I I will take whatever I can. You need to be pretty uh, like what's the word? You're gonna su suffer a lot of losses in live arena, no matter how your account this unless you have like top 10 account in the game but if you're like um even if you're worse than worse or better than me you're still gonna get losses so you need to be able to tolerate tolerate the humiliating defeat and um get some motivation out of it because <laughs> if you can't take some losses then live arena is not for you and it's gonna be too frustrating because um, it's gonna happen a lot. I think I fought this guy yesterday. He's pretty high points, so he's in like the top top hundred, I think. Oh, he took. <laughs> Again, they took took my Angora. God damn it! Yeah, we're definitely gonna go with Rotos on this one. Not Wugong. And probably Dutchess will be our last pick. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, he's de <laughs> he's definitely gonna ban ban my UDK. But at least we have the immunity buff from Duchess, so maybe Rotos is able to heal the Harim and not get stunned that way. Though Sifi will definitely be way better than Duchess. Like the, the issue with killing marriage guys that you really can't even hit her because if you do what? He didn't ban the UDK. That's a weird choice. If you hit Maritska, you're gonna get attacked by Tarase too, which is gonna stun you, but I was sure he was gonna ban UDK. I feel like UDK counters both of his nukers. Maybe he's like testing some stuff or something, but I'm pretty surprised he... I mean, I guess I don't have any reviver, so he's thinking that if he can kill me with Taras AoE, it's over, and that makes sense, but if he doesn't, then UDK is gonna be a pain for him, for sure. Should I open with the stun, or I guess we're gonna open with the ally attack. He's probably the Angora is gonna move, move the second and cleanse him anyway. Yeah. Would have been a mistake to switch the form and open with the stun. He has some buffs, but not that many buffs, so... I think my uh, Narciss is gonna survive the Tara Snook. I almost feel like I might be able to kill the Taras with the A2, but let's go with the, I mean with the A3, but let's go with the A2. I want to save the A3 for the Wukong without stone skin, but I think... Oh, he has reaction. Taras would have died to it if we didn't proc reaction, so he didn't save it. Damn, that triple stone skin is uh, not giving me an option to do anything. It's looking bad. I guess we, I guess we lost it. I mean, I can't do anything. I have to wait out for the stone skin, and he killed me in the meantime. So I guess the, yeah, I guess the UDK wasn't enough. Not with the ally attacks and stuff. I, I thought I had it when he didn't ban it, but Marit's guy is too strong. Damn. We were doing super well at the start, but we were starting to meet, meet the big boys at the end, and we got a lot of losses. They were super close ones, though. It was very, very easily I could have gotten, like, even more than five, five extra wins, and then we probably could have gotten to the 5.3k, but we actually ended up quite far away from it. But at this point, it pretty much comes down to like, either I need other champions or I need polymorph procs, but many of those battles are kind of uh, up to the RNG Jesus that who wins, and there isn't some kind of secret strategy that I can make sure that I win. Anyway, I hope you found it useful. If you got some some idea what I should do differently, then definitely let me know. Or if you have any questions, then let me know that as well. God damn, Plarium is really trying to bait me to buy Primal Shards. I'm super tempted. I really want to get my first Primal Pool. But if it's gonna be a videos and I actually bought Shards for it, I'm just gonna feel so bad about it. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna go for it. But Plarium sales team and PR department are definitely trying their best to make me buy this. No, I'm, I'm not gonna do it for video. Anyway, super tempting, but no. That's it. Good luck on your live arena and see ya.